Okay, so here we are, quite a big preamble today. So lots of thought provoking ideas and concepts floating around. So just allowing them to be letting go of what we can. And perhaps noticing our environment as well, maybe picking up on any distractions that might be present. Maybe background noise. So just calibrating ourselves with our environment. And just allowing it to be as it is. With any interruptions that may arise. Do our best just to just to leave it alone. And we can do the same for ourselves. We may be bringing into this moment expectations or thoughts or plans. You know, whatever, whatever is the package of us in this moment with the sensations, thoughts, feelings, just allowing that to be as well. So we're not interfering with ourselves or interfering with what is and in our own way coming to notice how our body's positioned And if it feels good to do so, maybe we can straighten the spine slightly coming out of the chair. Maybe lifting the back of the head a little bit and tucking the chin ever so slightly. Allowing the shoulders just to drop away from the ears if they want to. And of course, feeling our position on the chair or whatever we're sat on. Feeling the groundedness of the support. And our connection with the ground. So we can start to bring our attention to our breathing. Just inviting our attention to our breath as it comes in and out of the body. So we can focus on our breath in our body and focus on wherever it feels the strongest. And this will differ for each one of us. Maybe it's on the nose with the flow of air coming in and out of the nose. Maybe in the throat. Perhaps it's the feeling of the chest moving. Or maybe the belly. Or maybe 
there's no real sense of what it feels like to be breathing. Maybe it's just a bit numb. And if that's the case, then we just notice that. Notice there's an absence of sensation. Or maybe there's no particular spot, but just a general sense of the body breathing in and out. And we can narrow our focus so our attention rests on that part of the body while we breathe. And of course, it won't take long for the mind to get involved. The mind will carry us away into thinking. It does so expertly and convincingly. Pulls us forward or back in time. into problem solving or imagination, into planning. Maybe some self-talk. Maybe there's some criticism, self-criticism that we're not quite ready for this, we're not quite getting it right. Really common thoughts as we settle into this practice. So we recognize that these are just thoughts, not any one of them is more important than the other. And we allow our tension to rest again on our breathing. And seeing if we can do so with a, a gentle effort. So we're narrowing our focus, so like a torchlight onto that breathing body part or the breathing body as a whole. With an open curiosity of what comes up with each breath. And as we notice distraction arise, if we're pulled away, then we just notice that we've been drawn into thinking or distraction and simply bring our attention back to the breathing body as best we can. And as we become familiar with this process, we can learn to loosen that effort, that effort of focusing. So we can just rest very lightly with our breath.
remembering that there's no wrong turns in this practice. It's never too late to start again. To start from now. So whatever comes up that isn't this focus on the breath. You can just say this is distraction. And we gently bring our attention back onto the breath. Onto breathing. And onto the sensation of breathing. This feeling the breath. Live awareness. And as we feel into the body, we may open our attention to any other sensations in the body. Anything particularly obvious, maybe a soreness or an ache, maybe a tension or a tingling. Maybe a sense of unsettledness in the body or a sense of anxiety or tightness. And it's just neutral awareness at the moment. We're just scanning. Noticing if there's any commentary about how we feel. You know, I am this or I am that because I feel this way. Noticing any stories or history asso associated with any of the sensations. And noticing that that's just more mind activity. And doing so in the way that we can the best, we bring our attention back to the feeling sense of the body. So we might feel the body from the inside. Can we bring some compassion to the body? Understanding that it's carried us through our lives up until this point. It's probably taken some knocks and bumps. Probably doesn't feel perfect. Can we just bring a sense of warmth, a kindness and appreciation to the body? And 
Noticing how all this stuff just works. If at any point there's too much discomfort or too much distraction with the body, then we can just bring our attention back to our breath. And allow that to be the object of our focus. We might look at the body and see if there's anywhere that wants to let go. Shoulders or jaw. Maybe we need to move a little bit just to find a little bit more settledness or a little bit more comfort. Can we just bring that sensation of letting go to the body? And can we now expand our awareness, open it into a much broader view which allows space for the body to be here as it is? Allows the breath to be here as it is? Allows any sounds. Allows the mind activity and the thoughts. So we're opening to a much broader focus. And we're just going to rest here. Resting this in this noticing. So where this body in this space this breathing body resting on the floor And notice how we don't have to do anything to be here. The body breathes itself. body pumps the blood, digests the food.
heals and repairs, grows. All through its own innate or natural intelligence. And can we notice the mind in the same way? The habits of thinking, problem solving. And the mind is just producing thoughts, ideas. Maybe we can't see any of that. Maybe we feel a bit confused or uncertain. And we can just notice that uncertainty as part of the activity of the mind. And if we get washed away into thinking, if we feel like we've left this space, then we simply bring our attention back to this breathing body. And we rest on the breath again. And then we're opening up again. So just allowing this sense of noticing and noticing whatever it is that's there to notice, whether it's thoughts, sensations, continuous flow of changing experience. Or maybe it's stillness. Maybe it's a feeling of, of not quite getting it. So whatever we notice comes the focus or the object of our attention. Do we get a sense that 
we're pushing or striving to experience a particular thing. Maybe we're fighting distraction. Maybe sensation. Seeing if we can just take a back seat. Just allow whatever it is just to be there. So we have our awareness and then we have whatever is within it. And that might be a thought, it might be a sound, might be a sensation, might be a cacophony of different senses. And can we say anything about the nature of the awareness itself? So just checking in with whatever's coming up, whether it's thoughts, feelings, emotions, sensations, maybe mental images, sounds. And just seeing if we can take a back seat. So we're not going to interfere with that experience at all. And if we notice that we are interfering, then we just step back from that as well. And can we bring our attention back toward our sense of body? As we come toward the end of this practice, noticing what it feels like to have rested or to have experienced the practice. Noticing any evaluations that might come up. Maybe we think we did well by keeping the mind quiet. Maybe the opposite. So whatever it is, just recognizing that as another, as another series of thoughts. No more important or less important than the rest. Coming back to this sense of us being here, regardless of what thinking is going on. I 
and whenever we feel ready to do so, maybe moving the fingers or toes or the body in a way that feels good, taking our time, maybe gently opening the eyes, allowing the light back in. And I'll just stop the recording and that'll be the end.